Welcome to ABC World, the voice of Pan-Africanism, bringing you the latest news highlights of the hour. I'm Tabitha John. Do stay with us, commenting with the top stories. Ethiopia's exemplary actions in combating climate change garner praise from African Youth Assembly directors. And athlete Letis Hambat Gide won International Fair Play Award. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed expressed continued commitment to support a peaceful resolution to Sudan, according to the Office of the Prime Minister. During the 41st extraordinary session of the Igad Assembly of Heads of State and Government in the Sudan, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed expressed continued commitment to support a peaceful resolution to the conflict in the neighboring country, which has been going on for several months. The Prime Minister and his delegation concluded their participation in the meeting and returned to Addis Ababa Saturday evening. That is according to Ethiopian news agency. In a latest development, the Assembly urged IGAD member states to affirm their pledges for humanitarian support to Sudan and for the international community to immediately respond and scale up support to alleviate the deteriorating humanitarian situation in Sudan. Alarmed by the unprecedented toll the ongoing conflict is having on the lives and well-being of civilians, particularly women and children, as well as on the security and humanitarian situation in the Republic of the Sudan, and the region at large, the Assembly reiterated its call to the parties to end the conflict immediately without any preconditions. Ethiopia has received an additional 10 million US dollars for the 2023 and 8 million US dollar pledge for food rapid response at a site meeting of the UN Central Emergency Response Fund, CERF, event conducted between the Ethiopian team and OCHA, the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs leadership, both for CERF and EHF, Ethiopia Humanitarian Fund in the US. Adem Wasornu, Director for Operations and Advocacy, Steve Chief O'Malley, Deputy Director for Eastern and Southern Africa and Director of Peer-to-Peer -Peer Michael Jensen, Chief of the SERF Secretariat, David Thorpe, Chief of the country-based Pooled Fund Section, attended the meeting. According to FBC, Alexandra Hienshio Jackson, Desk Officer Operations and Advocacy Division, also attended the side event meeting. The Ethiopian team expressed their appreciation to the UN Emergency Fund for their generous support. This information was reported by the Ethiopian Disaster Risk Management Commission. Action treats the Talayu Albasat Temko, Yasayun, Yalfal, Vera Sabochin, Nazbochi, Genyalu, Nesuk, and the Zau, the Kavering Gidos Fitz, Yemengis, Sir Yemikenu, Kusume, Gedio, Ale, Basketo. States are now parading on the stadium, showing us their unique. Their very life traditions and their way of dressing.
Welcome back. African Youth Assembly Director praised Ethiopia's exemplary actions in combating climate change. The Assembly Director, which Kuof, urged for global collaboration to promote such commendable green legacy initiative. Tigus Tarnisa has more from the Ethiopian News Agency. Ethiopia is playing a crucial role to combat climate change and build climate resilient green economy. Talking to Ethiopian News Agency, Andres G. Wekto said the government's commitment in combating climate change, the Green Legacy Initiative, is commendable. Planting more seedlings can have a significant and positive impact on the environment by reducing carbon dioxide and promoting biodiversity. It also helps combat deforestation and erosion, and such efforts contribute a lot to ensure a green and more sustainable future for Ethiopia in particular, in the planet as a whole, the director stated. Highlighting that the initiative has been receiving many recognitions and appreciations from different institutions, Wekto added that it deserves more recognition, participation, innovation, and collaboration. Regional organizations, international agencies, and other countries have to exert maximum efforts to share Ethiopia's best practices to promote the Green Legacy Initiative, the director underlined. I do see Ethiopia as a country that is taking lead and showing other countries in Africa an example. What is much important is recognizing the Ethiopian Green Legacy Initiative as a part of the environmental uh, combating uh, the, 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 the climate change. So first of all, it should be recognized as one of the African, uh, African initiatives. Second, it can be recognized as something that surely needs the highs from the international entities. According to him, unlike many other countries, Ethiopia has already built a very great future for the generations to come in terms of Green Legacy Initiative. Ethiopia has already built a, a very great future, a very great fate for the generation to come, in which it will never be forgotten by the generation because they will already get, they will get what has been said. So it's the same thing we, the other nations, should take as an example. And then we can set a stone that the other generations will feel proud of. It is not only the, it is not only the example that Ethiopian has set, they have been doing a lot, they try their level best, and they surely need the backup from the continental level, especially the AU, which is the voice that is representing the African countries currently. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed launched the Green Legacy Initiative in June 2019 with the target of planting 20 billion seedlings within a period of four years. In this framework, the country has so far planted over 32.5 billion tree seedlings and broken its own record of planting seedlings. In December 2022, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed was awarded the Outstanding African Leadership Award in recognition of the Green Legacy Initiative. Climate experts emphasize the need for directing more low-cost capital towards climate-smart development in the least developed countries. They highlight investments in solar, wind, geothermal and hydroelectric power as crucial to Africa's climate efforts. Johannes Fentahun has more from CGT in Africa. 